There you go. It's a new menu. Now scoot. I think we'll stick to the old menu, thanks. You can have juice. Well, this is a smoothie bar, isn't it? Any adult who likes that stuff must be gay. <laughs> hmm? Tell me, you didn't throw away that engagement ring, did you? Don't start, all right? Give it a rest, Dan. You never know. Frankie might get to be mother of the bride after all. Just shut your mouth. Get over yourselves. I'm not having a laugh. Oh. Just one more thing. Out of you two, which one's the really much one? Say again, you just... Craig, come on, don't stoop to his level, yeah? Keep your bits slapping outside, boys. Grow up, Darren. You've attracted quite an audience. This will be the best show I've ever seen. I I'd offer you a glass of champagne, but um, I guess you're in a hurry. Let's just get this over with, yeah? <laughs> this is it, mate. She's going. She's not far enough away yet. Darren will get bored eventually. I know that. You can't let him know that you're bothered. But, but I clearly am bothered. And there's people much worse than Darren. So don't let them get to you either. But I might. I just did. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's the point. You can't lock yourself away. You'll find a way to deal with well, her. Don't be ridiculous. How can you know that? I don't even know it myself. And to be honest with you, I don't even want to talk about it. Fine. Well, then you call me when you do. But he's a waste of space. Nah, you're wrong. Look, he does try, just not hard enough. Yeah, he lets everyone else down in the process. But he doesn't set out to do it. Well, what's the difference? He's not a bad person, just a hopeless case. He's a loser. Yeah, but he's our loser, isn't he? Look, let's face it. He's the only dad we've got, and if he still comes around after the way you treat him, then he's in it for the long haul, isn't he? Don't I know your face from somewhere? Huh? Yeah, the pub. Oh, the dog, um... The lamb. Yeah, that was it. Was all going off the other night. You were a friend of them gay blokes. I'm not gay. Aren't you? No, I'm 200% straight. How much? 200%. Oh, pound. Tell him. It's a pound, mate. <laughs> but, mate, you ever just get fed up of being constantly let down? By Leo? Nah, man. But if you expect nothing, then you're never disappointed. Ladies, you not want another smoothie? What is the point? Sorry. Listen, I know this week's been pretty terrible. At least we can do is make the most of the last few days, yeah? Maybe I can go one better. Come with me to Dublin. What? I want you to come with me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It really is, I promise. It. And it's gonna be different to the way it is now. All right, no more kicking off. No more shame. Just, just me and you. Dublin, here we come, eh? You got look like you're on day release. You're the only loony tune I can see. We just want to make sure there's no trace of you left. We're after a clear free zone. Believe me, if I could wipe you from my memory, I would. Yeah, well, I'm sure your next victim will keep you occupied for a while. Living off your money should keep me amused. But the thing is, money runs out quick when you're an evil life-sucking witch. Don't make me laugh. 
One day you might actually get a life instead of leeching off the back of Max's. He's doing all right. Well, you're not exactly the best judge, are you? Let me know when you've grown a spine and stop acting like an eight-year-old. Tell you what, it won't be long before Tom's outgrown both you half-wits. It's called friendship, Claire. But then I guess you'd know nothing about that, would you? Really? The only friendship you've ever cultivated is with your makeup bag and a mirror. Another bit of conceit on you would have wiped out what little personality you've got left. Jealous? <laughs> Hardly. If someone replaced her with Barbie, it'd take you a week to notice. As opposed to your big, warm-hearted nature. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Even Barbie will eventually suss that everything that comes out of your mouth is lies. And you're so honourable. Have fun playing God, Warren. It's all just a game to you, isn't it? Life is very cheap. Especially other people's. Friends. Just in case I didn't make it clear before. Your time's up. <laughs> Don't worry. Hopefully I would have forgotten all your names and faces before I get to the end of the road. Oh, what, is it my turn now? This bunch of idiots are made for each other. You, you just let yourself down. What? I thought you would have known better than to turn into a mini Warren. <laughs> and what, turn into a mini you instead? You just turned out to be just as useless as your sisters. Must run in the family. So, she said you could start on Monday, okay? Why does she have to go to the same school as me? Because it means you don't have to buy a new uniform. Where's Tracy? You're joking! What have you done with her? Are we talking to me? You know I am. This is bad. Well, if you could look after your own spider, then, well... Have you let it out and tell the truth? I swear I'll kill her in your dreams, love. Excuse me? Look, it could end up in your bedroom. Why is everyone blaming me? Your dead girl. No, maybe your spider is. I mean it. Where is she? Hey, oi, oi, look. She'll help you look for it. It's too late. Tracy's gone for a little trip outside. What does she have to do with you? Oh, come on, man. I'm spitting feathers here. And where are you going? Hmm? Uh, nowhere. You know, well, it's just getting a bit, you know, overcrowded, so I thought... You're leaving. Bailing out on us. Again. No, I, I wouldn't. Good. So, Dad, why don't you take your coat off and make yourself useful? What? What, what needs doing, Carl? Well, there's a dish for a start and you keep an eye on that lasagna, right? Mm. Now, can we go pub, Carl? Too right. <laughs> you go. I think I'd choose to have anything to do with you. You're the one that can't keep away. I can't bear to look at your smug face. It's not exactly the worst tragedy in my life. You can't help yourself, can you? Oh, I speak my mind. Both my sisters are dead, and you got up and walked away. What? You are a sick bitch. <sighs> Get out of my way. Two for the price of one. All I needed was a bit more cash. Why'd you have to be so evil? I thought I told you three to leave. Oh. Excuse me. Poor old Mel wouldn't have burnt in that fire. And he'd still be holding hands at our AA meeting. <laughs> Tragic that the other one had to die too. Two for the price of one. You sick bitch. Liar, liar, the lash is on fire. <laughs> what a joke to you, isn't it? It was me. It was you. I don't know how tragedy is. I should have made sure you were dead. Get free behind-the-scenes video with the Hollyoaks cast on your phone by texting mobile to 83188 for a link to the Channel 4 mobile site. Get a first look of the next Hollyoaks, starting next on E4.